What's going on guys? Tanner back here bringing you another video. What I got for you guys today is we're going to be talking a little bit about Air Force basic training and is it going back to normal anytime soon? What to expect, what not to expect? I got everything you need right here on the channel as usual. Back to the daily uploads like we were before. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. All right, guys, so everyone's been asking me, hey, BMT, is it going back to normal? Is it not? What's going on? What's going on here, there, wherever? So I've been doing a lot of research on it. I've talked to a lot of people. And from what I can see, it's not going back to normal anytime soon. Now, let me tell you why, and you want to know why. So if you watched yesterday's video, if you haven't, please go check that out. It's talking about the PT testing for the Air Force and what's going to happen with that. But do that after you watch this video. Yesterday's video, I talked about how they're putting PT tests back until January 1st of 2021 because they are trying to make sure that we are ready and we're handling the COVID cases as you know they go along. There's a lot more COVID cases than you would have expected in the military, especially when I found the numbers today. It took me a while to find a chart, but I did. So let me go over the numbers as of September 22nd, which is two days ago. Two days ago, these, these numbers were updated. So let's go over this. Current as of 2 p.m. September, so September 21st, 2020, military cases, 6,842 cases of COVID in the military right now in the Air Force, 11 hospitalized, 3,891 recovered, zero deaths, civilian contractors, 1,007, or sorry, this is civilians, I don't know, maybe this is like dependents. 1,735, 13 hospitalized, 1,100 recovered, 10 deaths. Dependents. So I don't know what they're meaning by civilians because it says military, civilian, dependents, contractors. Maybe civilians who work on base like at the BX. Maybe that's what we're going for. Um, dependents, 1,843, 4 hospitalized, 1,100 recovered, 2 deaths. Contractors, 646, five hospitalized, 385 recovered, four deaths. So cur currently, as of 21st, there's been 11,066 cases, 33 hospitalizations, 6,500 have recovered, and 16 deaths. So about half of the people have recovered so far as of these active COVID cases that they know about currently at uh at this time if you go back to the chart they did a week prior there was only 10,531 so a week later there was over 500 more cases uh before that there was 600 less cases before that there was another 600 less cases uh 500 less and so on and so forth so it, each time they do a new chart and a new count it keeps cr increasing by between five to seven hundred cases every week now there's like your main reason of why things aren't going to go back to normal anytime soon. I know that's not a lot of, you know, people, it's still 11,000 and they don't want it to spread because at basic, what happens is, you know, 50 something people for flight, you have 50 something people in the bathrooms all over each other in classes. You have beast week where they're intense and everyone's a little dirtier. You know, people have to shower in the nasty latrines. Um, and so on and so forth. And so there's so many different things that go on while you're at basic where you're so close to everyone that you have a higher chance of contracting COVID because what the new CDC's come out and said is that it's more uh, like passed through the airways more than anything else. So that's why they are enforcing your six foot distance rule in the masks because they're saying it is transmitted more easily and more often through the air. There was a concert that was done for a choir where they were all singing and over 30 people that performed in that concert and that choir contracted COVID from someone there who had it, who didn't know because they're all singing together. They're all projecting there's air coming out of their bodies. So they passed it along to each other. So one of the things they're trying to just counteract is the amount of people at basic at one time, just like how they have two basic trainings. You have your Lackland and you have your Keesler to limit the amount of exposure that people have from traveling from Lackland all the way to Keesler. So they're still going to keep these things in effect and it's not going to probably change before the new year. I'm going to keep you guys updated as much as I can. You know, I make these videos as often as possible when I get good information. This is some of the best information I've seen so far because I found the numbers finally, but don't plan on it changing anytime soon. They might start restricting things a little bit more. Maybe one family member can come to graduation. Maybe, you know, as long as they show up like two weeks before and they're quarantined or something crazy, but I doubt they're gonna want anyone to go through that because people have jobs and things of that nature. 
So don't expect it to go back anytime soon. I would say the earliest we could start seeing changes for basic is probably early or late January to early February. They might start letting up, but I would plan on it being the way it is now until March. You know, people are constantly asking me, we're in, we're in September already. This stuff kicked off in like March of this year. We're already six months into this crazy shit. So I understand everyone's frustrations. I get comments every single day asking me about, hey, you know, when's it going to change? What do you know? What's, what's going on day to day? We're still active duty. We are still on quarantine shifts. I work this next week and then I'm pretty sure I'm off for two weeks or something of that nature. I'm not really sure how we're running it, but... It's uh, it's pretty intense how it's all how it's all going on. You know, we constantly are taking two weeks off. You know, we have minimal manning ships. There's still stuff on base that's closed around minimal hours. We just got our gyms back open, and it's a case where it's state by state. So every state has more cases than others. New York's gonna have more. California's gonna have more. Florida's gonna have more. States where there's a higher population. And all of those bases, I'm at Beale, then there's Travis and all this stuff where there's a lot of people per capita crammed into one spot, so they have to limit the exposure. So don't expect anything to really go back to normal anytime soon, at least military-wise. Civilian-wise, things might start letting up, and when they do, then the military will start slowly easing into that transition period to back into the way it was. But really don't expect it to happen anytime soon within the next four months. Expect at least six months before you start seeing real changes and maybe even longer depending on if they can get this under control. I know the CDC said they talked about uh, a possible vaccination, which I really do not like. I don't like the fact that they're you know, going to try to shoot you up with something that they say is going to cure you of it when most of us have never had it. You know, I'm not trying to get I'm not trying to get a vaccination for something that I've never had, even though that's the way to counteract it in the future. But I don't know. I it's it's kind of this whole thing is just kind of weird how everything's taking so long and so on and so forth. You know, it's a it's a it's a weird thing and it's really hard to understand everything that goes on because they're constantly changing the rules. The Air Force is constantly changing what we're doing and it's really hard to keep up with it. And I can only imagine what you guys who are trying to go to basic right now are going through with having to wait five six months with recruiters just to hear if you can go to MEPS. It's it's a stressful a stressful environment. And I feel really sorry for everyone who has to deal with this right now and anyone who's been affected by it personally. Luckily, if you're in the military, you didn't lose your job. You still have your paychecks, your benefits, your housing allowances, your food, everything. So that's why I advise people to enlist right now. And even at the beginning of COVID, I was really pushing for people to enlist because you're going to have that, you know, the stabilization that other people don't. But that's going to all for today's video. If you guys did enjoy, please smash the like button. You got the best Air Force content day-to-day -day coming out of this channel and fitness content as well. We're going to be pumping out a lot more of that. You know, if, I, if you guys don't know, I lost 100 pounds to enlist into the Air Force. So if any of you guys are struggling with weight loss and you're trying to enlist, hit me up on Instagram in the DMs. Leave a comment here. Any questions you guys have, I'm always available for those. Always leave your comments. It really helps out the channel grow because it pushes the algorithm out. Subscribe if you are new. Turn on the post notification bell to know when we post a video pretty much every single day. But turn on those notifications so you can be the first one to see the new video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. I love you all. Stay safe and have a great day. Like, I got a feeling you niggas don't like me. I'm talking vacation. This shit can get pricey. They know I'm the greatest. My nigga, that's hikey. I do what I do. I just do it like Nike. Needed some help. She started twerking. She said it is mine. If I go put the work in, I secured the bag and I bought her a Birkin. No, I can't swim, so I drown in the ocean. This is the mask I'm doing the most. They praying I fall. I'm killing.